Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how to use the set interval method along with the animate method to continuously loop some animation. Okay, I'm using CodePen as an online editor that allows you to code real quick because it's emit enabled. Emit is a code assist plugin or a package. Okay, CodePen again is an online editor. It has three panels, the HTML which is a div with a class of box and the div closes, the CSS and the JS panel. So you have three panels out here. What I'm going to do is, since the HTML and CSS is so very simple, you know, the CSS says that the box or the class box has a width of 400, a height of uh, 400 and background of uh, 0, 0, 0. So I'm going to, let me just change these values slightly smaller, make this 300. And let's change this to 300 as well. Okay. Okay, let's bring up the, the JS panel. Let's close the HTML and the CSS panels completely. And let's see how this uh, continuous loop of animation was actually created. Okay, let's start. I'm going to use some code, I'm going to lose some code, and whatever code I'm going to lose, I'm going to recreate for you. So you understand the concept clearly. Okay, let me just uh, destroy this bit of code completely. Okay, now this is the syntax for the set interval method. This method allows you to run some code inside the method infinite times over a specified time period here in our example uh, it's gonna be 5000 uh, milliseconds or 5 seconds okay so let's target the the only div that we have which has a class of box and this is the way you actually do that right make sure that the JS panel is actually linked up with the latest version of jQuery which indeed it is okay and then run the animate uh, method okay this is the syntax this is where the property goes then you have a colon this is the where the value actually goes and I'm saying I would want to change the border radius and sorry spelling border radius I want to change the border radius for all the four corners to be a 100 degrees see what happens <coughs> animate border radius 200% okay code pen sometimes takes a little time to refresh okay there you go so you know the corners have changed in a way that it actually turns a box or a square into a circle very, very nice I can come out here and I can specify a time period for example 1000 milliseconds again or one second this is gonna take a little longer by default it uh, I think it took 600 uh, ms that's that takes a little longer okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a small pause out here using the delay method I can do that this way just before the animation actually starts it's gonna delay the animation by one second again 1000 milliseconds that's equal to a second so it'll stop before stop or pause for a second before the animation breathes fire kicks off okay very, very cool now I'm gonna specify the easing or in simple words the rate at which the animation runs you have two values out here swing which is the default nothing mentioned is swing the other value is linear at the same rate I'm going to keep the default and that's swing. Okay, then uh, we can specify a fallback function. So let's use that function. Okay, uh, let's increase this area. So, function keyword round brackets curly braces, and then here goes the code for call back function right as simple as that so, but the you know the callback function will be run only after the the first animation is actually over what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take all the code from here to here okay I'm gonna push it out here but I'm gonna make sure that this turns to a zero percent or in simple words just zero okay and everything else is gonna be just the same and I'm going to terminate the callback function like this. Okay. 
one more change that I'm gonna make is uh, in fact let's let's see the animation first there you go so a box turns into a, a, a circle circle box to a, a box or a square okay I can actually do away with this selector and replace it with this this way which basically means the same thing because the animate method was actually applied in the very first place on the the, the class box itself so nothing changes out here so you see the callback function runs only once the main function or the first function is actually over you know so guys so simple the set interval method allows you to fire some code which was inside out here uh, infinite times over some specified time period in our example I've used uh, 5 seconds and this was that highlighted bit of code that was running again and again okay which was nothing but the animate method after the delay method delay allows you to pause take a respite take some rest catch your breath okay guys so it's actually that simple again code pen takes some time you know to save the changes refresh and uh, bring up the the preview okay so as simple as that guys so i hope you found this uh, information useful you have a good day bye bye peace